Hello everyone, and welcome to Death to Spies, a game which does not have the title on the menu screen. Yeah. It's a... think of it as Hitman's Russian cousin in World War II, and a fair bit harder as well. Um, so, uh, since uh, the missions in this game, they, they take a fairly long time to do and get just the way I want them to be, um, the sets of this will go up only when I want them to go up. Uh, and in between sets of Death to Spies, well, there'll be something else. So, um, let us start off with training. Because I'm a completionist. I've always been doing training since the good old breed days. Oh yeah. Oh, but I can't help but think that... Oh, I didn't do the training in Mafia, did I? Oh well. So this is... Oh man, I forgot your name. I'm, I'm sorry. But the... the his his name isn't mentioned often. Um, so, let us move to the point on the map. First of all, it's an obstacle course. La 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 la. The, the, the outside environments in this game are very nice. They, they feel cold, though. Line of barriers. Press the jump or climb space key to climb a barrier. The movement speed can be changed by pressing the run or walk key or holding the shift key down. You can change stance by pressing the function keys or scrolling the mouse wheel. Yep. Uh, let's see. Crouch, and prone, and sneak. Great, we have them all. Uh, oh wait, those barriers! <laughs> Okay, yep, we can jump in this game, though it's not used that often, really. And you have to get it just right if you want to jump over something. Otherwise you'll just jump straight up and down. Yep, got to have the right distance. And we can climb up ladders. Very good. And down left. What's down left? Oh, we fall down, do we? Don't fall too far, otherwise you die. Also, I suspect this guy is related to Altair, because he dies when he hits water. Oh yes, that's right. Run across... Uh, run, run through both boards. Through? That said through. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, that thing always reminds me of uh, Operation Flashpoint. The good old training. <laughs> pass through both trenches. Although we probably won't need to pass through trenches in this game. Now, crawl under the barbed wire. Just like you did in Call of Duty 1. Yes, this mission has been accomplished. Line of barriers. Move to the next training site on the map. Marked by... A one. Handy one. Now, we have a mini-map here. We can press tab. It comes up there. We can uh, press the plus and minus keys to zoom in and out. We can press tab again. It'll go down to the corner. And we can press M to get rid of it completely. We'll be using that mini-map a lot. I hope you don't mind. Uh, ooh, officers with blue and red caps. So, through this door, yes? Actions menu. Hold down the actions menu, E by default, key to enter the menu. Scroll the mouse wheel or press the forward key and back key to select the menu item. Release the ma Actions menu key to activate the highlighted menu item. It's simple. Step right up to the door and press E. And release, of course. Assignments have been changed. Target shooting. Shall we take the revolver or the TT-33? 
And uh, we'll be using a revolver a lot. So we'll take the TT33. Do, 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 do. And the cartridges. Do, 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 do. And the last one. The, no. Uh, there are so many cartridges. Oh, forget it. Uh, fire accuracy depends on the movement and distance to the target. Press the precision fire key to go into precision mode and improve your fire accuracy. If the aiming sight gets red and the target is at a valid distance for shooting. Oh, then the target. Yeah. Uh, you can change the shape and size of the aiming sight in the game's options. So we press 3 to select the pistol slot, and precision aim, and fire! Simple as that. Ooh. Although precision aim, it doesn't, it doesn't do much visually. It just, uh, <laughs> it just moves your camera forward and to the right a little bit. Ah, hit the target center twice, eh? Okay. Oh. Very simple. Assignment accomplished. Drop your gun and go to the next room. Kinda like, uh, pass, go and collect 200 pounds, but, uh, the military version. Uh, hmm. I like semi-automatic rifles, so I will take... Oh, wait. Uh, no, wait. No, I can't pick that one up. Ah, uh, okay, I'll take the PPS. Uh, of course, the submachine gun accuracy is poor, so... Yeah. Go... Call increases very quickly. Which is why it's good to prone, but, uh, we can't exactly do that here and, uh, get the rifle. I mean, shoot them. But now for the SVT-40! A rifle I have always loved in World War Two games. Because it's semi-automatic. It's a great automatic. And press 4 to select it. Aim. And... Fire. Very simple. <laughs> now... Ooh, what's this, eh? Ah, the Mosin Nagant rifle! <laughs> ah. Yep, take that. Okay. Hit three targets. You need to hit the white mark. Okay. Very simple. Let's crouch. I think that will help us a little bit. But uh, press and hold down the right mouse button to hold your breath while in scope mode. But we don't need no scope mode. We can... We can... Uh, no. We... we Aha! We can! but uh, after a few tries. So, hold your breath and fire. And do the same. Excellent! Uh, what's our next objective, eh? Throwing grenades! Hey, you know, this uh, shooting gallery thing uh, reminds me of the uh, target range in uh, Hidden Dangerous 2. Oh yeah. I'd like to see another hidden and dangerous game. Oh, wrong way! <laughs> uh, it, it's a pity, really. <laughs> uh, kind of like XCOM, when I think about it. <laughs> uh, that'd be a very loose connection. Anyway, let us take grenades.